your rocker, Pete. You know that. Oi, get back here. Shit. What do you think? Just run, you idiot. Bollocks. Over there. Come on, down here. No, Pete. There's a train! Peter! Just don't stop. You all right? Get back here! Guess we're going down. Come on, this way. See you. Come on. Nice work. What? Huh? You're late. Uh, hi? You were supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. I gave you clear instructions. Anyway, come on. We can probably still make it if you're quick. What are you talking about? Hang on, Pete. Hey, mate, can you get us out of here? What? Are you kidding? Didn't you hear me? We don't have time for this. Either you're coming or piss off. But don't expect a refund. This isn't a charity. Guess we're going with him then. Sam, what are you doing? That thing's radioactive. Get back. Chicken. Sam! Oh my god. It's now or never, son! They're over there! So be it. Wait! You're nicked. The other one's through that door! Gotcha! No. I, I don't believe it. Do you value all human life? More or less. Are there circumstances where it's appropriate to deceive a loved one or partner? Anything is possible. And to take the life of a loved one? There would have to be a bloody good reason. Are you capable of suicide? 
Been known to, but only after a few drinks. Please be cooperative, Miss Hughes. What is your greatest fear? That this interview will never end. Are you afraid of answering questions? I'm afraid of wasting time. If you were to be sent on a long trip, how long could you be away from your normal life? Define normal. We mean your life outside of work, your attachments, your family. Whatever was required of me. Even years? What if the trip was indefinite? Is it? Thank you, Miss Hughes. We appreciate your time. That'll be all for now. Got me on speed dial. You got a spare hour or two? I may have. I'm coming over. mind if I get past? I I'm Amy. Amy Ung. I'm pretty new here. I can understand why you wouldn't remember me. I am going to need to get past at some point. Oh, sorry. You're a big deal around here. I, I thought maybe you could give me some tips. I read your Operation Bloodhound report at Sandhurst. You know they use you as a case study there, as an example of how to keep a clear head under extreme pressure. Okay. Since then, I've been doing a lot of meditation. I think it helps a lot, you know? Oh, what am I saying? You don't need me to tell you that. Sorry, are we going the same way? Anyway, I've uh, been with the company about 18 months now, just transferred over from the Gibraltar office. Uh, have you been stationed there before? Sorry, that's a stupid question. Uh, there's good work being done over there at the moment, but obviously it's nothing compared to HQ. I'm really lucky to get the opportunity to work down here. Hey, maybe we'll end up working together at some point. It would be great to shadow you, to learn from the best. Right. I've heard so much about you. It's an honour to meet the legend in person. Are you taking the lift too? Oh. No. It's been lovely to meet you. Bye. See you've met Amy. Oh, yes. Promising recruit, that one. She doesn't know when to shut up. <laughs> She's getting fast tracked. What? Blasted thing. Fast tracked where? The most intelligent people in the world working here, and we can't even get a lift to operate reliably. What department? Advanced Dynamics, your section. You don't mean I have to manage her? No. About 
bloody time. She'll be reporting to me for the time being. I want to oversee her progress directly. That's quite unusual. I've decided to include Amy in the selection process. Same as you. I hear she performed very well. Let's see who comes out on top. I think this is your stop, Hughes. Sir. Come for a checkup, have you? You know what I'm here for. Can't get enough of my sensitive bedside manner. If all you've got is talk, I'll find someone else. Hey, just having a bit of fun. Save it for the bedroom. Fun starts upstairs. Are you right, babe? Yeah, just had a long day. Oh, my babe saving the world again, is she? Saving it or destroying it? One of those. Anything I can help with? Can't talk about it, I'm afraid. Back rub? 
Yeah, I'll have one of those. But later. Is Dylan asleep? Mm -mm. I'll let him wait up for you. Make sure he's reading and not watching TV. I'll go say goodnight. Hey, Dylan. Hi. Is everything all right? Yeah, just reading. How's Grandad? What? Oh, yeah, he's fine. I told him about your 200 meter swimming badge. He was very proud. 500 meters, Mum. I got my 200 meter badge ages ago. Why do you always forget this stuff? Oh, sorry. You're just getting too fast at getting these badges. It's hard to keep track. Dad said you'll come and watch me do my 750 metres. Please say you'll come this time. You missed the 400 and the 300. Everyone else's mum's come. But I came to the 200, didn't I? Don't worry, I'll be there. OK, now it's getting late. Time for bed. Oh, come on. Can't I stay up until nine? Dad always lets me stay up a little longer if I'm reading. OK, but I'd better see this light off when I come back up here at nine. OK?